um, 70 percent of the adult population is deficient in zinc. The daily recommended amount of zinc is 15 milligrams. That's insufficient. That is not enough. I recommend a daily supplementation of zinc of 25 milligrams a day. Um, and that's important because zinc is the bullet that inhibits some viral RNA viral replication. So it's the bullet that stops the enzyme called RNA dependent RNA polymerase. It has another name also called replicase. And that enzyme is an extremely important enzyme for RNA virus replication. And the virus, not only by the way, COVID, all the COVID strains, but also influenza virus and also RSV are all codependent on that enzyme to make copies of its genetic material. You understand that for a virus to spread, it needs to make copies of its genetic material to make more virus. Yeah. Now, do you understand that if I stop the function of this enzyme, RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, that I stop the spread of all the strains of COVID, all the strains of influenza and RSV? So you say that if you are covered with zinc, you already have the weapon to prevent the virus from replicating in your body? No, you have the bullets. No, but you need to enter the bullet into the cells. It's Listen, without a gun, the bullets are useless. Yeah, so the, the zinc will travel in the bloodstream, but will not get to, into the cells, so you're not protected. Okay, but first of all, let's talk about how much do you recommend to take zinc per day? 25 milligrams. Is it, is it a, a fixed dose for all ages, like with vitamin D3? We're talking about adults. Uh, pediatric dosing is different. All right, only adults. So in the adults, well, uh, what age do we begin? 16, 17? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's more right, weight so we'll have I would say more than 100, 100 pounds. So you recommend for up to now vitamin D3, 5,000 units per day, and zinc, 25 milligram per day. So it's like a prevention, right? So far. It's a, uh, think of it as basic training before going to war. So again, I'm asking you the same question as with B vitamin D3, any precautions, side effects about zinc? Yeah, zinc could make you nauseous. So there are different zinc formulations. You can always try a different brand or you can break it up into smaller dosing over the day or you can take it with food. All right, okay, all right. But further than this, any systemic problems with zinc that you know? Zinc is an absolute essential mineral in the body. It's not, your body, you can't live without zinc. So, and since the majority of people are zinc deficient, it's the deficiency that causes more problems than anything else. 